Um, Daniel, today we have a meeting room set up as a resource in Outlook. Users can invite the room as a resource in Outlook uh, when they book a meeting and it will auto reply based on its availability. I would like to display the calendar for the meeting space in our SharePoint site. Any thoughts? Like this is something, you know, uh, you know, uh, so I don't know the answer, Daniel, like personally, hopefully one of these people know, yeah. but the, uh, I don't, it's a, it's a thing because in every meeting space in a Microsoft building, a lot of enterprise spaces, they've got the calendar for that space. Um, so how do we access that? Do either of you have experiences with that? Well, they used to have the calendar overlays and I totally miss those. Again, one of those things that they didn't bring forward into the modern of you know, views of SharePoint. The only thing I can think of is when you share a calendar, you can publish a calendar on the web. And then that's a web view of the calendar. And then in you can put a web view web part onto a SharePoint page or on a Teams tab. And that's the only thing that I could potentially think of because it is a web-based view of that calendar. But I'd have to play with that a little bit. Yeah, Chris, do you have any idea? Yeah, look, the, see, the thing is, because it's the web part, and you're bringing it in with the URL, is there not going to be uh, um, the interactive component coming into it? Um, you, I think you're going to need a third party web part to be able to display it. Um, and, and there is one out there. If we, I, I don't have any association with it, but it's called SharePoint. They have, seem to have an add in for that, but you know, there, there's, um, we've got in here in our links, we've got quiz as well to display the calendar. Yeah, they, they'll, and the thing is, it's like, you know, what's free, what's not? Um, do you have Teams rooms? Because then that can actually be displayed on any device. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of other, you know, setups that you could potentially have, but if you're keeping it in a simple form, then it's not quite as simple as it seems, but you're gonna have to use a third party web app, web part. So, so I found, found a link and I'll, and I'll include the link. It's a conversation. Somebody asked the question, the conversation over in a Microsoft tech community. But um, one of the, uh, something else I looked at, I thought the old way, I wasn't sure if it, it updated, but you actually need to create for each of those resources. And I, so I believe it's still the same, um, that you need to essentially create a room or equipment mailbox mm. in Microsoft 365 yeah, very specifically. for each resource. Mm. So then it is, it's a, it's a person, it has an identity and then it can have that room or equipment mailbox. It'll have then its own calendar for meetings, everything that's visible. So admins will go in and access that, you know, directly. You can have people that are delegates and manage it on behalf. And that's usually how it's done. The, you know, there's a meeting room and there's an admin who somebody who ultimately can bump you from that. They control that calendar, mm -hmm. um, but you set up that profile, then it's available. Then you have the SharePoint half of the equation of showing that. If you're talking about SharePoint online, um, there's the calendar tab. I think, can you point that to the, a specific resource, a specific calendar no. versus calendar? Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah. but there's so, a, they all have a web view. So you could use mm -hmm. that, you know, one size yeah. fits all little tab option of a web view of anything, mm -hmm. but you can, as a workaround, you can open any resource calendar in Outlook and then mm -hmm. overlay that. So you, you may not need SharePoint, but then you'd have to teach each person how to, open that Actually, and yeah. display yeah. that in their own outlook so they can see them. I'm assuming yeah, they want to see the availability of that room at any given time. Is that's what I'm assuming? But yeah. Without more information, I couldn't say for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's being able to view it but not necessarily book it because you wouldn't be able to interact with it that way. It'll only be the owner that can because otherwise you wouldn't be have that auto decline or you know, those right. sorts of things. People could go in, start bumping around, which is not what you want to do. You don't want people moving anything on said calendar. No. Correct. Yeah, but the, I think you can get read only. Like I can have read only access, uh, Kirsty, like you could make me a delegate and I could just see your calendar mm -hmm. or not. You know, you mm -hmm. can block that. And I, I believe the same features can be applied to those you know, resource calendars, because it's just an Active Directory account mm -hmm. with a mm -hmm. calendar tied to it. Same thing. It's just not yeah. a human. It's it's a you know resource. It could be a 
projector. It could be, uh, you know, whatever that resource might be. In this mm. case, it just happens to be a room. Mm. Thank you.